We are covering this breaking news from all angles. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in Center City with the latest on police trying to bring some order. Matt, bring us up to speed. Well, Joe, behind me is a perfect example of that. This is a line po of police outside the Municipal Services Building in Center City. Uh, this is, of course, across the street from City Hall, where protesters earlier today were trying to storm into the Municipal Services Building. You can also see in a distance there, that's uh, the Frank Rizzo statue. It looks like it's been uh, defaced with red paint on it. Uh, this happened just a short time ago. Uh, thick black smoke billowing in the air. That's because at least four police uh, uh, cars are, have been burning after protesters have stormed around uh, this area for a couple hours now. Uh, now, from above, you can see Chopper 3 in the air, just a huge crowd of people all around us in Center City. Uh, there is a line of police by 15th and JFK of uh, protesters as police kind of form a line to make sure that they are getting order. But it's still very chaotic here with that thick black smoke billowing in the air uh, with, with at least four cops cars burning. Now, uh, back to the Frank Rizzo statue, if we can talk about that for just a moment. You might remember back in 2017, Mayor Jim Kenney, he said that he would remove that statue, said it didn't sit well uh, with the African-American community in centers uh, in Philadelphia. Uh, but three years later, that statue still sits here. So earlier today, we saw protesters trying to tear it down. That did not work. They actually then tried to set it on fire. That didn't work. Uh, other than a few flames surrounding the base. Uh, so that statue is now defaced. If you want to take a short walk with us uh, uh, across Love Park, uh, you know, no love here. If you can read some of those signs from those protesters, they say justice for black life, no justice, no peace, and get your knees off people's throats. That's just some of the signs here as police try to form a, a line to stop these protesters from kind of storming down the street here. Joe, uh, sorry, just need to catch my breath for a moment. It's a little difficult to talk through this mask, uh, but you know, this is has been playing out here for a few hours, a few hours now since about two o'clock this afternoon, uh, uh, when, when protesters initially were peacefully protesting. Uh, it then turned a bit chaotic, and around four o'clock uh, this afternoon, they were trying to get into the municipal services building. If you want to take a walk with me uh, right now, and of course, that's the black smoke from those police cars. There's a lot of litter on the ground outside of the municipal services building. And that's because a lot of protesters were trying to throw things into the glass window panes, a lot of trash uh, thrown at police officers as well uh, as they were trying to get into the building. That was not successful, um, but you know, this is far from over as uh, these officers are trying to do their jobs and protesters trying to make a point. Joe? Photographer Will Kenworthy in the thick of it there for us at the Municipal Services Building. Matt, thank you so much for that report. We'll check back in with you if need be.